All right, I'm Bear Grylls, and this is episode four of Man vs. War Behind the Scenes. Today, we're going to cover mainly gathering food and uh, whatever else should come to mind. All right, let's go. All right, now we're going to go searching for food, you know, things that have fallen on the ground, apples, berries, Jehovah cakes, you know, things of that sort. Now, the nice thing is, in this area there's plenty of trees, it's fall, most of the fruit is ripe, so it shouldn't be too hot. Alright, let's go. Oh. We got a jewel pan, probably left back here from uh, one of the old Jehovah's. They, they drink a lot of this so they can stay up late and read the Bible, it's really quite disturbing. Alright, let's continue on. Alright, first thing I'm going to look for is perhaps eggs or nests or something that I could use that a mother bird or something used before. Similar to uh, that hole right there. I'm going to go check it out. Oh, man, come here, come here, come here. Oh, it's a jackpot here. This is a Ritzosaurus nest. Now, contrary to the name, they're pretty docile creatures, but this one has left behind its egg. So let's, let's see here. All right, looks like the egg's done. All right, here's the eggshell. And we look inside, oh, something's taking all the crackers. But, Ritzbitsosaurus love to uh, have eggs in groups. There's got to be more holes around here somewhere. And with there's more holes, there's more of these. Let's go look. All right, we've been looking around for quite a while, and we found this. Now, I haven't checked this box yet. I wanted to save that for camera. Fish, you pick it up, make sure there's no other Ritzosaurus laying around. They can... They don't hurt, but they're really annoying. All right. Uh oh. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Come on. Oh. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's all wet. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Let's go. All right. We're all familiar with the Nature Valley Bar commercial. The cute little old lady with a cart in the middle of nowhere. Well, we've seen her wandering around these woods, giving Nutri-Game Valleys to deer, children, churchgoers, politicians. So I'm gonna go try my hand looking for one. No, oh, mate. Ah, oh, but the pace is already bitten off it, so she could still be in the area. Huh. Oh. Eight second rule. Now we're going to show you how to hunt. First, you put on your camo, or your seaweed suit, as the British Spec Ops call it. Now, you get this on, you button it up, you get your weapon, in my case, it's the British Special Forces, doodle bop and shinko wanker, similar to the US Marine Corps' fingle doodler. This is a powerful weapon. Shoots laser beams? Well, not really, but you get the point. It's really cool, you know, you swing it around like so. And you beat things with it. Sorry about that, Mike. Now, first thing you go to do, before I can use the doodle bop and chinko wanker, is get the DNA. Now, there's several calls you can use. Just a basic mating call. <coughs> Find a few directions. Looking <coughs> for a reply. I've got nothing, so I'm going to try the female mating call. Ah! One more time. Ah! 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 No luck so far. Alright guys, last night sucked, I had no tea, no food, and my fire died, and there's nothing but hot coals left, so I'm pretty sure it won't start up again. I had not to eat this pop tart, so it's, it's plus. But, um, I had enough this week, I can't take any more, honestly. Gotta get back in my hot bed, and, you know. Well, I'll see you again in winter time.